comes to a tropical island escape, Fiji has always been a South Pacific hotspot, a must-do Pacific travel destination for many. We'd heard of Fiji being a great diving destination with some pretty cool underwater adventures to be had. So I thought it was just about time to pack the bags, head off across the Pacific for a couple of weeks to capture and experience the essence of this place for ourselves. So today is the day we go for the shark dive. We're on our way now to the dive shop, get ready, and then we're heading out, they call it dive site, I think it's number 20, drop down to about 22 metres, there's meant to be tigers, bulls, lemons, oh, sharks are just such majestical, misunderstood, misread animals, and once you actually get to spend some time with them, then I think once you spend some time with them, you grow as much of a love for them as we have. For as long as I can remember, people have always referred to sharks as man-eaters, and many people have feared spending time in the ocean because of their presence. So both Di and I decided that on this trip, we wanted to place ourselves in a number of environments with sharks to capture their behaviour around humans with the hope of demonstrating that these magnificent creatures of the sea don't have us on their menu. Here Ready for is. us to go? Here's our uh, dive master, Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> so good. This, your... this is the man taking us out today. The old to him. Okay, cool. It's 10 mm. Uh, 10. 10. Yeah, 10 yeah, mil. Yeah. 10 mil. No, oh, no, 10 mil. <laughs> size 10. That's size 10. <laughs> 10 mil wet suit. Yeah, I'd be very no, warm. I'd get down the there and go, <laughs> <laughs> For years we had heard of how local Fijians had been encountering some of the bigger sharks off Benga Island, so naturally this island was going to be our first port of call to try to capture the shots we needed. The boys are filling our boat and then we're ready to head off. We meet the rest of the crew, we're heading out with Aquatrek today. Um, we meet the rest of the crew down at the dive site, head in, drop down to about 22 metres for about 20 to 25 minutes, watch all the sharkies. Tom, we've already yeah, seen some sharks. Oh, yeah, there's one down there. Huh. Okay, you can't see it through the camera. Cobia? Yeah. All that shark in the bottom. What's it called? Bistro. Bistro. The bistro? Yeah. Because it's a the feeding bistro. place. Now you can see it's a shark. Yeah. <laughs> Excited, I'm going into the feeding pit, into the frenzy. I think um, Oscar's actually thrown a couple of fish into my BCD to get them up nice and close. Is that what yeah. you did? Yeah. You did. Yeah. yeah. 
Since 1999, the team from Aquatrek has been successful in creating two shark marine reserves that directly involve the Fijian people to help educate people and aid in the conservation of sharks. And it was in this area that we were going to try to get our shots of two worlds coming together in complete harmony. To get some sharks close to us, first we needed to get some food in the water to capture the attention of any that might be in the area. And believe me, it didn't take too long for the word to get out. There are over 300 species of fish and eight types of sharks that commonly frequent these waters, including some of the largest bull sharks in the world. The bulls moved into this feeding frenzy in packs and there was a real energy in the water. It was quite evident that there was a pecking order here, and in this case, size had a lot to do with it. Despite their sheer size and the fact that they could definitely steamroll me if they wanted to, they were still very cautious and aware of our presence. I noticed that if I moved my camera too rapidly in their direction to get the shot, they would change their inward bound course towards me instantly. However, I slowed down my movements, they'd come in for a cheeky closer look. Then, for a brief moment, the waters cleared. We heard our local Fijian dive master slapping his tank, which was the signal for the end of the dive. And as I looked out into the blue, heading straight towards me was what Di and I were hoping to encounter. As this 16 foot tiger shark peacefully approached me, I was so stoked, so I buttoned on in hope to capture my interacting harmony shot. Wow, what a moment it was. Well, that dive was incredible. The bull sharks coming right up to the feeders, taking the bait right in front of the camera. I think I got some great stuff. But then right at the end of the dive, bang, here in the tank slap. I thought it was time to come up because the signal was, was when the tank's being slapped, it's time to leave the site. The tiger shark came in and it was incredible. Taking our surface interval at the moment, having a hot cup of tea, some fresh, freshly baked muffins that they've just cooked, pulled out of the, <laughs> pulled out of the boat's oven. And um, we're going to go down there and see if we're lucky enough to get that. But according to the guys, they haven't seen a tiger shark at this site for a good month. So we were very, very lucky. And I think that goes back down to what I've said earlier about going into a dive and not expecting but being appreciative for what you see. And look what we were blessed with. That was amazing. Bula, cheers. Time for some hot chocolate. Oh, tasty. See so they look after you too. Make sure you have enough energy for your next dive. We couldn't count down that 60 minute surface interval quick enough as we wanted to get back in that water to capture more magic moments with these beautiful creatures. As we made our way back down to the bottom with the locals, what we witnessed was amazing. Shark and man interacting in perfect harmony. Once again, Di and I had been blessed in the presence of the wild. so privileged that we were able to capture this connection for people to see another side to tiger sharks other than the fearsome reputation that they have been branded with. That was absolutely insane. Oh my gosh, that was amazing, beyond amazing. So at first it was just heaps of bull sharks, reefies, lemon shark, but then right at the end, oh, so amazing, this huge tiger shark, and I was really hoping to see the tiger. And we didn't get it for most of the dive, but then right at the end, five minutes before the end of the shark dive, huge tiger came through, came right up to us, like right up to my face, right up to Ben. Oh my God, it was the most amazingly beautiful. And then being down there with the men and just, oh, how, yeah, how just graceful and powerful. And if you have a good respect for them, you'll never have a problem. Well, unfortunately, occasionally, very rarely, very rarely, occasionally, they accidentally mistake you for something else. But, man, more people die from selfies or a holiday than ever do from sharks. And this 
was just oh, wow, so incredible and so beautiful. So all I can say is, anyone out there who doesn't like sharks, actually get in, learn a bit about them, actually experience a shark, go snorkeling or scuba dive, and if you scuba dive with the shark, and realise how amazing and beautiful and they're not horrible creatures, they're not man eaters. They've actually never eaten a man. They might accidentally bite a person, but well, if you're scared of sharks, actually try taking, get out of your comfort zone, go experience one, and actually realise that you can actually grow an incredible love for them. A love for them is what we have, and we are passionate about capturing and sharing these magic moments to show just how beautiful these creatures really are. We live in a world where the media continually shares the message to fear sharks. We call out to you and ask you to help us to share the truth. We'd really appreciate it if you could share this video with someone that might have a fear of sharks. Let's use our social media platforms for a positive change of attitude towards sharks, showing the true behaviours of these beautiful creatures and that they are not man-eaters at all. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this little adventure of ours out in the deep blue. And if you liked it, we'd really appreciate your support by liking this video and following us on our social platforms if you want to see more of this stuff. Thanks again for watching, and Di and I will see you all again soon.